First of all, good afternoon, greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, to be here live on Facebook and YouTube to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of our situation. As I always say, Jesus says in his words, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that great? Isn't that mighty, my friends, that God promised to be with us in every situation in every circumstances, in every trial, in every testing. He says, a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come by thy dwelling. Welcome this morning. Let's give her a big hand. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Those of you who are listening to me from your living room, from your dining room, from your kitchen, from your car, from your office, from church, or even right here on the street with your phone, God bless you richly. There is a tremendous blessing awaits you this afternoon, my friends. And wherever you are right now, I release a blessing upon your life. I release a blessing upon your homes. I release a blessing upon your children. I release a blessing upon your business. I release a blessing upon your job. I release a blessing upon your finances. My friends, and every spirit of witchcraft and obia and demonic forces and evil that come against you to destroy your life. I destroy it under the precious blood of Jesus. I release a blessing upon your life for the blood of Jesus is so efficacious and the blood of Jesus is so powerful. The blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every book of darkness and every spirit I destroy right now in Jesus name. I break every general curses against your life. I, I break every blights against your finances right now in Jesus name and I release a blessing upon your finances and whatever you do with your hands, whatever work you do, God will bless and prosper you in Jesus name because the works of darkness has been destroyed from your life in Jesus name. Let's give a lot of big hands to the hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, dip me in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit. Anoint my lips, anoint my tongue, anoint my voice as I minister your words. Your words will go forth under the anointing and power of the Holy Spirit. I thank you, sweet Holy Spirit, that you are here with me in this room today and you are within me because that's a promise from God. That's a promise when Jesus leave this place of this earth 2,000 years ago. God the Holy Spirit was limited and only was in him. But when he left, he says, when I go, the Holy Spirit, which is the comforter, he will come and lives with you and abides with you. And the works that I did, he will do greater. Heal the sick and raise the dead and make the lame walk and blind see and perform the miraculous. So my friends and beloved, if you're listening to me this afternoon and you're sick, if you have cancer, you have AIDS, you have COVID, you have diabetes, you have a heart problem, a liver problem, a blood issue, a blood dialysis problem. If you're blind, you're deaf, you're dumb, you're lame. My friends, if you're oppressed, depressed, frustrated, if you're suffering from anxiety, if you're demon possessed, my friends, if you have a migraine headache or pains in all parts of your body, in every joint of your body, where painkiller cannot help you, my friends, I'm here to tell you that Jesus Christ died for your sicknesses. He was beaten with 39 stripes upon his back. His back was ripped and his blood was shed upon the floor. His flesh was ripped apart. He took 39 stripes. And according to doctors today, here. 39 sicknesses that is plaguing mankind. I believe that Jesus Christ took each and every one of those tribes for a major sicknesses that is plaguing mankind. My friends, Jesus Christ wants you to walk in divine health, but a thief comet, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Christ comes that you might have life and life more abundantly. And God, who is the healer of your soul, is also the healer of your body, and He wants you to walk in divine 
built. That is why for the past two days, I'm speaking to you and let you understand that as long as God, the Holy Spirit, is living within you, you will be victorious. You will not be a failure. My friends, a praying person is a bold, is bold and focused. Are you a praying person tonight, this afternoon, my friends? Are you a praying person? Welcome to part three of God, the Holy Spirit is within you. If you're a praying person, if you're bold, bold and focused, my friends, I'm here to tell you, Satan cannot take advantage of you. No, he cannot take advantage of you if you're bold. My friends, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Satan can, my friends, especially when he's well founded in God's words. My friends, you need to be founded. There will be times when you don't feel like praying, my friends, but pray as an act of will, my friends, rather than relying on feelings, my friends, when you are a trained to pray constantly and it soon becomes a delight, especially when you start noticing the transformation it brings hallelujah my friends the secret of christian who enjoy the gifts of the holy spirit and forward prayers my friends prophesy discernment and of spirits word of knowledge and other flow through the life of a praying believer in christ jesus my friends don't settle for an ordinary life hallelujah make prayer your priority make it your priority signs and wonders will surely follow you hallelujah greatness and influence in the kingdom of God will follow you you are possible without the commitment of prayer my friends do do you want to win in your family do you wish to, to the end and an ugly trend around you it is possible through prayer my friends hallelujah you don't have to tolerate the, the status of co my friends you alone can turn things around are you hearing me today God can do so much uh, through one man. Prophet Elijah alone shook the land of Israel and subdued the prophets of Baal. My friends, not even King Ahab or his evil wife Jezebel could stop him. Hallelujah. Take up the challenge and start praying today. Hallelujah. You have equal access to God with man and woman of God who did exploits many years ago hallelujah don't stop crying over the situation my friends start doing something about it today hallelujah read the book of hebrews chapter 11 and get inspired by the account of the people who walk with God and, and, and impact, impacted their world through prayer. Furthermore, you need to know that uh, persistence is a vital ingredient in prayer. There are, there are issues that will not change by prayer for hours, days, my friends, weeks or even months. Hallelujah. It will take several years. Yes, my friends, so you do not be determined not to give up not to give up today no my friends no matter how long it takes hallelujah when you pray continually over an issue my friends things happen that are not immediately apparent my friends hallelujah but you lose it when you, you when you quit isn't that so long from the prophet elijah hallelujah Praise God. Did not rain. There was a visible sign in the sky. It did not rain. There, a heavy downpour was inventable. My friends, there is no hope or case before God who raises the dead. Hallelujah. Actually praying effectively, my friends. It's not totally dependent on the length of time you spent. My friends, after all, Jesus simply called on Lazarus from the grave who had been dead for four days. Hallelujah. But, be, but there should be a willingness on our part to persist in prayer until the desired results are gotten, my friends. Spending a lot of time with God is something you should do in your closet. Hallelujah. 
during such times my friends God will deal with your doubts hallelujah you will receive his guidance and wisdom so that when you step out you will be bold and full of faith hallelujah a simple prayer will then suffice my friends because you know exactly what to do hallelujah and much of your prayers in the closet should take the form of praising praising worshiping and giving thanks let's give a lot of big hand having a pen and paper close by my friends so you can write down what is it he, he says to you in your greatest benefit my friends in the closet hallelujah praise god thank you jesus let's give a lot of big hand today isn't he awesome? Isn't he great? He calling us to prayer. He calling us to call on him. I want to speak directly to, today to you, my friends. Please take these words to heart, my friends. Hallelujah. Take these words to heart. I do not want, my friends, you are right now, where right now, my friends, I know what you are going through or what you have been through as a person, my friends. But there is one thing that I do know today where you are right now where are you right now what are you doing true doing true right what are you going through right now what is a con what is a condition not uh, your conclusion this is not a mere motivation this is a word of God coming out through me today my friends for somebody somewhere right now my friends this is the answer to the question you have been asking God in your secret place my friends and beloved your life may have been taken a turn at some point and that you got questioning or your, your very existence itself hallelujah my friends you may be we are not at the point yet but you are not satisfied with where you are this message is from God to you today my friends hallelujah I want you to know that life does not always go the way we want them to go you may try all you can my friends but things must just go sideways hallelujah no more knows why or how to avoid that my friends it's like a blind spot on on your vision or blueprint we do not always see and we can't miss it my friends hallelujah and when that happened, that can be very uh, unrevealing, my friends, uh, discouraging and depressing today. In fact, many people have fallen into depression because of some of life uh, disappointments. Uh, the fact that, my friends, uh, the fact that things do not go as they planned, uh, shatter them, shatter that dream, and they lose hope uh, for ever achieving anything, my friends. Uh, now, hear me this afternoon. You may not be where you always dreamed. Uh, you You'll be now, my friends. However, however, you are not where you need you used to be, my friends. No matter how slow the pace, you are at not the same person twice, my friends. It is neither, it is either you're getting better or you're getting worse today, my friends. With each passing day, you get closer to becoming somebody in life. How you handle where you are now goes a long way in determining how you turn out my friends and when you are in the least place that you can be there is so much in store for you up ahead where you are now is nothing nothing compared to it my friends hallelujah the bible says in job chapter 8 verse 7 what it says your beginning will seem humble so prosperous my friends will your future be hallelujah praise god there is one thing that the enemy likes to do to your minds when things seem to get out of proportion for us my friends he tried to make us believe that all hope is gone and this is the end however it is true messages like this my friends that our minds will break free from such a deceit my friends Hallelujah. Therefore, before you start concluding on yourself this afternoon, you must realize that where you are as a child of God does not define who you are today, what you have done, my friends, or where you are going. Hallelujah. The story of Job is a great example, my friends. The man that loses all his children in all, the, uh, all his possession in one day must have done something quite terrible, right? That is what 
it will have seems like uh, from the, the face value my friends uh, even uh, in the, the closest friends uh, through trial to him uh, they did not believe that someone will experience any such things uh, without being uh, done something wrong he believed that this was a fate uh, this was God's doing uh, and our judgment on Job that uh, Job should uh, to repent uh, instead of insisting to do something wrong or deserve this uh, my friends uh, you see we might even think uh, the same thing in the Bible uh, had not uh, told us uh, what, what uh, had happened uh, behind the scene uh, Satan has gone to challenge God over Job's life uh, daring God's, God to push Job into the wall to prove his loyalty I want God who did not uh, those things uh, to Job was uh, was the devil my friends uh, God allowed him because God knew Job uh, was God's own testimony of Job uh, God chap Job chapter 1 verse 8 tells us uh, and the Lord Lord said unto Satan, Has thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that feared God and a steward evil? Let's give a little big hand. And one thing about our heavenly Father is that when He commends, when He commends, He does not do it because of what everyone else sees you're doing. He does it because of what He sees inside your heart my friends and beloved he said to the prophet Samuel in first Samuel chapter 16 verse 7 he says but the Lord said to Samuel hallelujah do not consider his appearance or his height for I have rejected him the Lord does not look at the things people look at my friends people look at the outward appearance but the Lord looks at the heart hallelujah let's give a big hand hallelujah God my friends look at the heart he look at the heart he know Job because he had seen his heart Job wasn't worshipping because of the blessings, health or good things. God had blessed him with it. He worshipped because he loved God and has submitted his life to him. Hallelujah. This was why he could say during the height of his suffering, if a man die, what shall he shall live again all the days of my appointed time <coughs> will I wait till my change comes hallelujah and also my friends i know that my redeemer lives and that is the end he will stand on the earth job chapter 14 verse 14 in Job chapter 19 verse 25 tells us uh, hallelujah Job understood uh, something that he was doing going through was terrible it was bad my friends uh, it was as bad as dying he has not uh, he has lost everything his children were all gone his possession were all gone his wife uh, uh, the, the closest ally he had my friends uh, had lost faith uh, had lost faith and up and pursue him to curse God and die implying that he was better off dead than alive giving his current predicament my friends his health was in a terrible state friends there was supposed to come they were supposed to comfort him and we con con and not condemn him however Job knew and believed that God will never let him end like that without vindicating him he believed with this in his heart and truly that was what happened God showed up and turned his story around let's give a lot of big hand everything he lost he got back much more my friends hallelujah your current situation might feel like a nightmare today let me tell you however that nightmare no matter how long or how terrible always it ends no matter how long or terrific terrific jam with a little time it must come to an end my friends no matter how terrible the storm if you live you live long enough you will see it's its end my friends hallelujah Psalms chapter 30 verse 5 tells us 
for his angels lasted only for his anger lasted only for a moment but his favor lasted a lifetime weeping may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning let's give him a big hand he, he reminds me of the story I heard the time ago of a father and his daughter my friends they were driving home one cool evening when a storm started it was raining down hail so hard that they could hardly see the car in front of them this young girl was so scared if she covered herself under her dad's jacket so he could see that she couldn't see the thunder and lightning that tore through the sky my friends she could however see all the other cars they had driven past them all the old park by the side of the road they couldn't see the road in front of them neither is it to avoid an accident they had stopped it they have stopped she wondered why her dad didn't stop her just keep driving then my friends it was silence it was silence and she lifted herself up to, to the lights in front of her and the tree and the birds singing as they drove past this was when her dad decided to park the car by the roadside by the road and then he turned to her and asked her what she had observed and she said they had been driving a long time in a storm but now the storm was gone he told her to look back and she did my friends when she looked back she saw that far behind them the storm wasn't going the storm was gone it wasn't moving it, it, it wasn't stopping either he looked back to him and he told her he told her he, he told him that the storm was still there and then he told he told you see my little one I, I want you to lower this lesson today that you have just witnessed a narrative of how life can look like something have just taught us something I want you to remind remember in the rest of your life aside the fact that each one of us driving into the storm at different times how long we stay in that storm will depend on us. Don't get me wrong. I don't say you will control the storm. Instead, I am saying, my friends, that if you control the storm effect on you, did, did you notice that I, other cars park by the side of the road as long as they are parked? They're, they're within the storm. They remain under the effects of the storm. If the storm will, will last 12 hours as as long as they choose to park there they will remain there for 12 hours hallelujah however because we keep moving because we keep moving there we are watching through the storm still exists it has no more power over us let's give the Lord a big hand we are all done with the storm today hallelujah remember the story of my friend when you face the storm of life don't give up don't conclude that it is the end of the journey for you, my friends. Hallelujah. Don't park by the roadside. Don't resign to, 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 to fate. Don't settle on, on in the condition. Your storm will only be as long as you make it, my friends. The current condition you are in is not your conclusion today. It is not your destiny. It is not your destination. If, if you keep your eyes on the right direction and your trust too my friends you will reach it hallelujah where is the right direction today it is in God where you should you you trust be my friends you should put your trust on God hallelujah Psalms 121 verse 1 through 4 tells us today I lift up my eyes to the mountains where my help comes from my help comes from the Lord the maker of heaven and earth he will not let your foot slip my friends who watches over you will not slumber my friends indeed he he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep my friends hallelujah no so long as God is is in your is your source your vehicle he will bring you out of the storm 
storm. He will cause everything to turn around for your good. Hallelujah. Yes, it may not look at it like a day or two right now, but don't let where you are discourage you, my friends. It does not determine your destination. Focus your heart on God's promises, on God's grace, on God's mercies today. True grace, my friends, the mercy God is able to take a mess of condition and turn it around. Hallelujah. He's able to turn it around. Like Paul says, once upon a time, it was a, he was a murderer, a zealot, willing to kill everyone who stood in the way. He would have such a, a one will end in destination. But my friends, no one but no God I had a different plan for Paul. Uh, through one encounter, he turned his murdering zealot in one into the, the greatest apostle of faith uh, this uh, world has ever seen, my friends, uh, from from Saul, the murdering zealous, uh, to Paul, the, the beloved apostle, my friend, don't give up yet. Uh, like that storm, my friends, uh, may your condition seems like it uh, will last forever. I am here to tell you this afternoon that it would uh, if you you will let Jesus take the wheels of your destination. He will navigate it in the right direction out of every negative condition, turning everything around to your testimony, my friends. Hallelujah. Like Job, God can make the instrument that once brought you a reproach to be the same object of your testimony. Why? Because his plans for you are for good and not for evil to give you an unexpected end and a future and a hope my friends do you see that today my friends the condition is not a bump on in the road don't stop because of it it may slow you down my friends but don't let it stop you keep your eyes on God let's give a big hand put your trust in him don't try to work it out by yourself today. No, it, it, it will not wear you out. It will wear you out instead. His strength replace yours, my friends. Hallelujah. When you come to the end of yourself, then God can reveal his full ability on your behalf. Hallelujah. Praise God when he is true with your life. We will, will look too good to be true. Yes, because he is that kind of God, I decree over your life today in faith and I want you to believe and receive my friends this declaration today in the mighty name of Jesus the Lord our God will stand with you, he will help you, he will deliver you he will show himself strong on your behalf hallelujah, the darkness the storm, the reproach may rave, rave, rave my friends, you write and you will look like you have abundant but my friends no you are not God will grant you the grace to keep your eyes on him he will uphold you with his strong right arm and you won't give up my friends give in or give up out my friends inside of the, the messy condition God will bring you into your miracle things will turn around for your good and for your power of God hand in Jesus name let's give a big hand hallelujah praise the Lord thank you Jesus oh blessed be the name of Jesus my friends and beloved it has been a great joy and privilege my friends to be here this afternoon to minister the word of God I trust the short word has been a blessing to your heart hallelujah this place is very hot can you imagine I have two fans on and I have the AC on and yet my skin is soaking wet can you imagine what is happening in our world there is heat wave all across the world we living in the very last days and God promised that these things will happen in the last days my friends are you saved
Are you redeemed? Did you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Is the Holy Spirit living inside of you? Is God the Holy Spirit is with you? Is God the Holy Spirit living inside of you? Very soon the trumpet of the Lord will summon and the dead in Christ shall rise and those who are alive and remain shall be caught up to meet the Lord God in the air. Are you ready? ready to go or you want to stay back here to go through the seven years of tribulation period during the reign of the Antichrist which will be very soon we, we, you have a choice today God has given us a free choice my friends what is your choice do you want life or do you want death my friends my friends it will be a joy and great privilege and those of you who are listening still listening to me from your living room from your dining room from your kitchen from your car from your office from the street with your phone in, or in church or right here to I did not forget to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to send for the anointing of the power of the Holy Spirit. I know God said in His words, we must lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. But God is no respect of person and there is no distance with God. Wherever I am right now, I'm going to send for that anointing. That anointing will reach you and touch you and you will be completely healed. Some of you, the doctors, have given you up and say you only have a few days or a few weeks to live. But I'm here to tell you, my friends and beloved, that you will not die, but you will live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny because God has not finished with you as yet. You will not die. You will live in Jesus' name. Let's give a big hand. Hallelujah. Praise God. Today, my friends, I'm going to break every generational curse upon your life. I'm going to break every blights upon your life. I'm going to drive out every demonic forces of darkness that's hindering you from getting sick in the night. And every sickness and pain in your body will go in Jesus' name because it is not from God. It is from the devil. And God will set you free. Whom the Son set free is free indeed. Are you ready? Hallelujah. Right? Right now, are you ready? Prepare, my friends. In a few seconds, you'll be completely healed. Right now, in Jesus' name, be healed in the name of Jesus. Be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit. I see many are healed, many are saved, many are delivered from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities. I see demons have left people, demons have left you. My friends, you will sleep some tonight. In Jesus' name, you are completely healed. Let's give another big hand tonight. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord to this afternoon. In fact, I mean, let's give another big hand. Hallelujah. I thank God for the healings. I thank God for the miracles. I thank God for the deliverance. I thank God for setting the captives free through the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Write me, text me, call me, and let me know what God has done for you, my friends and beloved. We are serving a loving God. We are serving a faithful God. We are serving a healing God. We are serving a God who can set you free and who has set you free today. Let's give him a big hand. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, my friends and beloved. It has been a joy. And great privilege and honor to be here live on Facebook and YouTube and to be on the internet to minister and even right here. I trust the Lord has touched everyone here and heal you completely today in Jesus' name. That's the God we are serving. We are serving a miracle loving God. God bless you richly my friends and beloved. I love you in the love of God. I see you tomorrow. Do have a wonderful evening. God bless you richly. And I see you tomorrow in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Amen. And amen. Praise the Lord.